Is that a dumb question? I don't know. So before I had a big tapestry behind my bed, but I felt that was a bit juvenile or just wasn't my style anymore. I just have a mini fridge as my side table that's going to need to stay there. It's necessary. And I got this gray side table. It has hairpin legs, but you can barely see them. And I need to put a basket down there. These beige sheets blend in with the wall. But that's essentially it. It's very plain and boring. So this is illegal? You're not allowed to take your guard off. Illegal or no, frowned like upon? Probably illegal. <laughs> <laughs> because it's very dangerous, but I cut so many things. It's just how I do it. Doing flooring. I used a stud finder to discover that the shelf goes across four beams and I have four brackets and I wanted it to be extra secure since it's going to be above my head. I'm measuring out 26 inches below the ceiling. I wanted it fairly high to make the ceilings look taller and the room larger all around because it is a pretty small space. I also wanted to leave room for a headboard. I potentially want to DIY a brown leather one, but that's for another day. Now I need to step back and make sure it's okay to be centered over the bed, a little bit skewed with the brackets. I can always push the bed over a little bit, so let's see. From here, if you can see the four pieces of tape, they're definitely not fully centered with the bed. Room to just shove it over a little bit, right beside the Bridge and yeah. To put them into the two by fours, uh, the wall studs, we're going to be using eight, which is the diameter, and two and a half inches long. So they're pretty big. Oh my gosh. No one tells you you have to hold the bracket, the drill, and the screw all at the same time while making sure it's level so I ended up using just a piece of painters tape to hold up the bracket <laughs> looks pretty darn good to me yes I wore my ski helmet and GoPro in order to get a different angled shot So I've just put the wood on it to make sure that if it pushes the anchors down at all, or the brackets down at all, it's going to be completely level. It ended up being very secure. Six screws in total for each bracket. Three went into the wall stud and three went into the shelf itself attaching to the bracket. I just put some heavy textbooks on here and a bucket of screws. I'm using a Phillips now. It's one inch. I'm scared. I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to alternate sides now. It really um, grabbed the shelf to the bracket. Obviously, that's what it's supposed to do. So I was a bit worried because it wasn't. This wood is a lot softer to go through than the 2x4 studs and the wall. I was a little bit worried it was going to crack the wood, but if you're using a 2 inch board, I guess you don't need to do pilot holes. So I bought two of these, they're 6 inches, and I thought I could put that so you can just see if I put it down here. I mean, I thought that would have been okay, but there were $18 for two for this length. So these brackets were $2 for a two pack from the dollar store. And I think they look good, so we're going with it. This is bamboo, um, just plain white. It is the softest sheets I've ever owned from HomeSense. And this is duvet cover. It has a little bit of embroidery, just for some texture. My dad actually picked that out for me. Good job, dad. And then this pillow is 
green velvet. It is from Winners. This, you saw me kind of rip apart the back. Just a sleeping bear. My childhood dog name was Bear, so it's a little ode to him. I printed it off Google. Sorry to who's ever photo this is. There's a signature. Shout out to you. This I had printed last summer. It is a eucalyptus. I just got it off Google again. Took it to Staples, printed it, and then this is an Ikea frame. This frame is from the thrift store. It's pretty heavy. It looks like a rose gold. And then this candle. So I'm gonna try and paint it with a water brush. So if the plants get the water that's sitting down here because there's a hole in the bottom, are they gonna be poisoned even if the paint's dry? Is that a dumb question? I don't know. And this is the dry painted. It turned out good. I had to do three coats, but these are just some dried uh, leaves from some flowers I got. This pothos I got last summer and it's grown a lot. I have it going up the wall, but I definitely want to use it to hang on the shelf. And I'm working with this. It's pretty tall, so I don't know. It might look kind of awkward there. And then this is a clipping of my friend's pothos. The roots are just going crazy. Highly recommend if you want little jars like this. These ones are um, from a Marble Queen, so they're more white or yellow. Um, and then this is a silver pothos clipping. Yeah, this candle was originally from Walmart and I just took the label off and soaked it and it's that trendy amber color. This I found at the thrift store. It was like 50 cents and it was the perfect size for propagating. All that's left to do is final touches, which is the best part, so let's go. I kind of like how there's a bunch of vines over here, so it starts from this pot. The vines go, it stems out in the picture, stems out in the apothecary used candle glass, and then this is the actual plant that's trailing down and trying to cover a little bit of the bracket. Is definitely missing some height now so if I put this there you'll walk in and your eye will be drawn to the window excuse the bookshelf mess it's for another day cover up that not so cute curtain rod I'm so glad I did this and I wish I had done it when I first thought of it because it looks so much better. And now it's time to have it up. 